I'm trying to reach out to some monitor brands to get review samples. I am interested in reviewing LCD monitors that have backlight strobing because I understand now the Blur Busters law and I can tell you exactly how good they are. I see so many reviews on YouTube. They show you a picture of the UFO test. That's no, <laughs> that's not enough. You need to know exactly how good is the motion clarity with a number. And I know how to get that number. I know and I can communicate to you and tell you exactly how good they are. So here's the problem. I would love to go and buy the best one just for review. But the problem is I am afraid that I am going to hate the picture quality, okay? Because, you know, I love motion clarity, but I also love to get a great picture. And the LCD technology has terrible black levels, terrible black levels. I have an IPS uh, monitor and it sucks. I cannot even look at it. <laughs> I use that IPS monitor for work and it sucks, man. I, I don't even want to look at that thing. It's so ugly. After getting used to the OLEDs and the plasma, it's just, there's no going back. So that's why I need a review sample. I, I'm, I'm even telling these companies, hey, I would return it back. <laughs> I would return it back. I don't even want it for me. I'm not going to use it. I believe I, I don't want it. Maybe if they are really good, maybe I get a review sample. I say, you know what? I'm going to buy one, you know? So I want to explain to you, if you are new to the channel, um, you, you, I have a lot of videos, <laughs> okay, so I, I, I understand people new to the channel, oh, this guy is talking about all this stuff, but it's difficult to find the information because I'm uploading a video <laughs> every single day. So let me explain to you, if you are new to the channel, what I'm talking about here, what is, what is motion clarity, what is all of that, I'm going to sum, summarize that for you as simple as possible. A CRT monitor or TV at 60 FPS, 60 Hertz, it looks, it looks like 1000 frames per second, okay? So you pay, you pay your money for your TV or for your PC or for your console, you pay that money and you're getting 60 FPS, okay? And that monitor, that CRT TV or monitor is giving you a 1000 FPS visual experience okay and the input lag is fantastic <laughs> okay so that's why they are so amazing what about the plasma this is a plasma tv right now i'm playing cyberpunk max out with nvidia deep learning super resolution ray tracing all that and this looks at 60 fps only 60 fps this looks like 240 fps okay it does have some limitations for example when I move too fast, the motion is affected a, a little bit. So if you if you move faster than, than this on the screen, if you have an object moving at this speed, uh, the motion is breaking due to other reasons uh, other than persistence. But that's a little bit complicated and longer to explain, but it looks very good in motion, basically. So the OLED, the LG C1, has a technique to simulate a little bit what the CRTs uh, do, okay? So what the CRTs do basically is they draw a single line left to right, top to bottom, like this, a single line. And that line is fading in with this phosphorus decay. And that single line is very bright, very, very, very bright. It's like 20 to 30,000 nits. Yes, the CRTs are insanely bright, brighter than anything we have today, okay? We have a sunny uh, prototype that can hit 10,000 nits right now, today. It's an LCD uh, TV, of course. So that CRT goes from 20 to 30,000 nits. So it's drawing a single line left to right, top to bottom. So what the OLED is doing, because the OLED cannot get as bright as the CRT, the OLED cannot draw a single line because it is not bright enough. You wouldn't be able to see it. So the OLED has to, dry, ha has to draw 
a, a bigger uh, size. So what the OLED does is left to right, top to bottom, it starts to draw the picture. And let's say the OLED has this size of the picture, let's say 50%. And then it's going to scroll that down and the rest is black. Scroll that down and the rest is black. The CRT, so basically, the, the smaller that window size is, the better the motion clarity. So the OLED can do 50%, this LG C1 can do 50% window size, and even a smaller, like 38%. So when you reduce that window size, you improve the motion clarity, but the brightness goes down. And the reason why that improves the motion clarity is because it reduces the pixel visibility time. It reduces the persistence, okay? So it reduces the pixel visibility time, improves the motion clarity, but the OLED cannot get as, cannot get smaller and smaller because the brightness goes down the smaller the window size is. So the CRT is a single pixel. <laughs> it's a single pixel. It's a line. That's why it's so amazing. That's why at 60 hertz, 60 FPS only, it looks like 1000. But the, the OLED cannot do that. So now, these LCD monitors, they can get a lot brighter than OLEDs. They are a lot brighter. And because of that, they can use a smaller window size, like 10%. So the OLED can do 50%, 38%, but the LCD can do a smaller, 20%, 10%. And what you are doing on the LCD is you're basically trading uh, brightness for motion clarity with those monitors. And there are some of those monitors that allow you to adjust that uh, window size. So you can basically decide how much motion clarity you want. And also, we know that the responsiveness of the OLED, so the gray to gray of the OLED, is very fast. It's a lot faster than LCDs. But the LCD's uh, motion clarity is not limited only by the gray to gray. And I'm going to explain you why. Well, I wanted to do something simple, but <laughs> yeah, I'm going to explain you that. So basically, the LCD motion clarity is limited by the backlight uh, flash, which is that uh, strobing. Because what they do is they are hiding the gray to gray limitations so the responsiveness of the of the panel they are hiding that on the dark cycles so basically let's say the pixel needs to change the the color in the transition we are going to just hide that with a black because the backlight is hiding that and that eliminates the crosstalk it's called crosstalk it's a trailing artifact so when you have the UFO test moving left to right, that is set up in a way, that backlight is set up in a way to eliminate that, um, that ghosting, that uh, trailing artifact that is called crosstalk. So with LCD based displays, you can get a perfectly clear motion and you can get a lot better motion clarity because they get brighter. And there is a law. It is, the law is called tailbot plateau, tailbot tailbot plateau plateau law, and what that law explains is exactly the trade-off between brightness and that window size. Basically, if I remember correctly, for example, an OLED display would need eight thousand three hundred and thirty-three nits at 120 hertz to get 100 nits full screen brightness at 120 hertz. I think I got that right. I think I remember that correctly. So yeah, I might have a link in the description of the video uh, to an article to explain that, or I might do a separate video about that. So that's what I'm talking about here. I would love to review those displays, those LCD, uh, displays to see how good they are. I would especially love to review the VR headsets. I'm 
I might get one but the problem is I am afraid I'm not gonna like them because of the picture quality the black levels so yeah that's the dilemma I am in I'm trying to reach out to these companies to see if I can get review samples because I would love to review those products I can tell you exactly how good they are I see so many reviews man on on YouTube they just show you a picture of the UFO test. They don't talk about the, the Blur Busters law. They don't, they don't tell you exactly what is the persistence of that display. And, and I've seen reviews that they are experts in telling you exactly the input lag. And they have instruments to measure the input lag. And input lag is all the, the focus. And they, they don't tell you anything about the motion clarity other than just a simple picture from the UFO test. So... Yeah, I would like to do that. I would like to review those products. And I would like everyone that is new to the channel to understand what I'm talking about here. Um, maybe go back and watch my Blur Busters Law videos. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I know this this topic is very, very difficult to to communicate. I mean, I've been trying <laughs> for so many videos to explain this uh, blur busters law because it's so important man I I am sure if every gamer knew about the blur busters law every gamer knew exactly why the CRTs are so amazing I'm sure these companies would come out with a different technology because the future is bright and awesome and I'm, I have a video coming about the future of gaming. I know exactly what's going to happen because I was told what's going to happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not that Jensen called me, but yeah, after reading the Blur Busters law and also I communicated uh, with the chief, he explained me many things that are just mind blowing. And I know what's going to happen. <laughs> but even knowing that, I believe that right now in that transition, so while we are waiting for that bright and awesome future, in that transition, it would be awesome to have a display that with less FPS, you get more. So you get more for the money you pay for computing power. So if you get a console at 60 FPS, it looks like more frames per second. If you get a PC, the same. So that, does, that doesn't sound like a good idea for Jensen because he, you know, the, the more you buy, the more you save. So that's what they want you to buy and buy 49 and, and more. That's what they want you to spend more money. So what I want for us <laughs> is to get a display that looks better and better and better with less FPS. And the only justification for high FPS right now is HDR. And actually, that's why the future of gaming is high refresh rate. Because of HDR, because of brightness. Because to get better motion clarity with less FPS, with less hertz, you are trading brightness. And that's what the tailbot plateau, plateaus law explains. So let me know if you have any questions about this.